Hi guys, welcome back to the Big Sew Along. I'm Ginny, and as always, I thank you very much for choosing to spend a little time with me. Today, I am responding to a challenge from Catherine over at So Much Sewing. She has a YouTube channel, So Much Sewing. I'll link that below. Um, before the holidays, um, Catherine put together the Leone dress from Liam Patterns. And she had some trouble with it. She gave a good review of it in her video, which I will link for you guys below. Um, in that video, she gave me credit for stumbling upon this pattern. And I, I actually kind of remember coming across this pattern at some point. But I was looking through all my videos and I can't remember when I mentioned it. I couldn't find it anywhere. Anyways, that's beside the point. Catherine um, had a few issues with her pattern, so she challenged me to make one, and I finally got around to doing it. Um, I don't have pattern, uh, sorry, made up pictures. I don't have pictures of the garment for you from the website, because what they have are line drawings. Now, oftentimes I get really frustrated because people will have only photographs of the garment and not a line drawing. I personally feel like it's really important for pattern designers to supply us with both. Um, so I can see exactly what the, how, what the details of the dress are. You can see from the line drawing and then you can see the resulting garment in photos of people wearing it. In any case, I could be wrong. Um, Liam Patterns is a like a sort of a subsidiary of Ruby New Zealand, uh, which I believe is a clothing line. Um, so there, it, it's possible that you could see this dress like in their sister website or something like that. I, I couldn't find pictures of it. Although I swear I did at one point see pictures of this. I just couldn't find them today when I was going back to, to load them up for this video. So the Leone dress has like a few different options. For the sleeves, you can either do like a short, like almost a cap sleeve option, or there is a pleated sort of three quarter sleeve option. I went with the um, short sleeve option because uh, I tend to get really hot even in the winter time, so I prefer to just like wear a short sleeve or a sleeveless garment and put a sweater over it. Um, and also the pleated version, since, since these sleeves are both like off the shoulder, their drop shoulder. I would. I am not a big fan of the pleated sleeve on a drop shoulder. I have seen that a lot recently, and I'll show you. These pictures are not from the the Liam website. I just like cropped down some pictures I saw on Instagram of this particular dress, so you can see the pleating detail. Now, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. I just pr don't particularly like that. And I would suggest that if you have a larger bust, you probably will not like that either because that's just going to add a lot of volume right in your bust area. Uh, that's not why I don't like it. I just happen to not like that. Okay. Length variations. It comes as a top, like a tunic length or um, like a midi length, like a three-quarter length dress. Obviously, you can really choose whatever length you want. They also have, um, it has this little, top, this little tab belt in the photographs or in the line drawing here. You have options. There are two tab belts you can use. One is longer and one is shorter. You don't need to use one of each, you can just pick one. Do you want the longer one or do you want the shorter one? Or you have a tie belt option. I don't think that you see pictures of those options in the line drawing, so just be aware that you do have options there. So, because I saw Catherine's video on this um, pattern, her review of this pattern, I knew there were a couple of things I wanted to look out for. She said that it came up quite large and that the neck opening was also quite large. So, I started by uh, double checking the pattern. According to the pattern instructions, I should be making a size 12. Um, I can't remember what the dimensions were, but I measured it and I decided to make a size 8, which is two sizes down from what I was what was recommended. Um, in addition to that, I still added three quarters of an inch to each side of my neckline, so making my neckline an inch and a half narrower all around. I raised the belt on this an inch and a half. That is due to the fact that I'm just shorter. That's got nothing to do with the pattern. 
Um, and then I also moved the belt in an inch and a half, both the front belt and the back belt, and like I centered it an inch and a half closer towards the center. Um, that is because I made the size eight and the size eight fit me fine. I like the way that it fit, but when I put the belt on um, with the with the markings that were on the pattern, I could still get it on and off, but it wasn't comfortable and it looked more like a dirndl skirt than like a flowy dress. So I just moved those uh, that little tab belt inwards an inch and a half on both sides. Um, then what else? I shortened this a lot, but again, that's nothing to do with the pattern. Um, I did have a little trouble with the sleeves. I think I said already that I didn't, I don't really like those, uh, pleated drop shoulder sleeves. So I just went with a short sleeve. I'm going to show you a picture here of the drawing, um, from the instructions. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is, it says here, uh, take left sleeve and stitch the straight edges together with a one centimeter seam allowance, right size facing, overlock sleeve seam, and press towards the back. Well, in this picture, <clears throat> it says the straight edges only, in the picture, the stitching is not on the straight edge. The straight, straight edge, it's on the side, which is actually a curved edge. Anywho, I couldn't really figure out what was going on there. The, um, that curved edge is the, what goes in your underarm. So that's what makes the armhole shape. That straight edge, which you are not supposed to sew, by the way, is the hem. So that long edge that curves over a little bit, that is the one that sits into your arm hole. Okay. That said, um, because of the way that piece is cut and sewn, that underarm piece comes to a very sharp point and it is not very easy to fit that into the arm side of your garment. So just be aware of that. Additionally, um, the sleeve, my sleeve came out considerably smaller than my armhole. So I did do a little fidgeting and I got it to work, but I wasn't really happy about that. If I make this again, I will make the arm, I will make the sleeve maybe, I'll maybe add a half an inch to the length of the sleeve so that it will fit better into the arm side. Okay, what else do I have to say about this? This is not a difficult pattern and I have to tell you, I do think that it's a really cute dress. Um, I think there are some issues with it. If you like it, it's easy enough to make. Um, just be aware of the few issues that Catherine and I both discussed. In the photos here, I am wearing this in the fabric I'm using, it, sorry, the fabric I used to make this is a, I believe it's 100% cotton um, and it's a double gauze. This was actually gifted to me from, um, I think it's Ina over at uh, Latoff Fabrics. She gifted this to me right before the holidays and um, I, I didn't have any plans for it so I thought it'd kind of be the perfect thing to try this dress out with I actually really really like this um, fabric a lot I don't really wear blue very often but I love this fabric um, and I do think it was a good a good choice for this garment um, I also think that this would be good in a rayon chalet it would be great in linen of any weight just about um, yeah I think all of those are good I would probably stick with something that has a little drape just because the dress is pretty full um, I'm also wearing this with a pair, a new pair of um, Japanese um, drop crotch pants that I just made. Hang on one second. Um, just before the holidays, I purchased this uh, new, new to me, uh, Japanese sewing book. Um, and I will link this down below for you. And I'll show you a picture here of what these pants look like. Um, I made these up um, in the same... Uh, cotton double gauze um, as the dress just because um, she gifted me um, Ina gifted me like at more than four yards of this stuff so I had plenty anyways I really I wasn't sure about these pants again I was a little like iffy uh, but I it turns out that I really like them and I especially like them with this dress um, I this is how I'm wearing it right now and you can see I have just popped a sweater over the top, I have this cute little uh, 
crocheted sweater I made last year from a bunch of scraps that I really like over this outfit. Okay, guys, that is it for me and the Leone dress. Um, next week, I think we're going to be talking about um, some zero waste patterns for knits. So look forward to that. Until then, you guys, happy sewing.